All right, everyone, welcome to 2024. The new year has started. Hope you guys had a great 2023. If not, you should have more time to keep on grinding and learn some new stuff. So I did want to kind of talk a little bit about my goals. I think it's good to set goals at the beginning of every year, just so you have something to kind of stay focused on and align on as you're just learning or trying to build stuff. And I wanted to kind of talk about my goals in the context of this YouTube channel and just like my side projects. I have been going ham on YouTube for quite a while. I mean, I have 851 videos published. I think I've been going like hard like two to three years consistently on my channel. And at this point, I just feel like I want to slow down a little bit and not feel so obligated to make videos and make content. Like pretty much currently, I have this like in the back of my head, like I have this need of like, I need to go upstairs and record a video for my channel because if I don't, my channel's not gonna grow. It's just gonna end up dying off. And I feel like I've kind of seen this other channels. When you stop making content, your channel literally just dies off and people kind of forget about you. So I don't want to just give up on my channel, but at the same point, I don't want to just feel this need to just keep on pushing out content. I think getting to 200,000 subscribers would be a really cool goal for next year. I think I'll be able to hit it pretty easily. But overall, I want to slow down and just really think about what I'm making. Like, what is my main goals for this channel? It's always been to help teach how to code and how to, you know, teach about Next.js, teach about React. I just teach like little tidbits of information, right? So currently, like I said, like I just feel like this obligation in the back of my head where I treat this more of like a, I have to do this, this is my side hustle, but I'm gonna kind of slow down and just only produce stuff that really seems interesting to me, right? If I skip three days and I don't produce anything for like a week, that's fine. I just wanna make sure that the content I'm making is actually stuff that I'm like passionate about in that current state and time. At least that's what I'm saying now. I might end up just keep publishing videos like every day because I'm just gotten to the habit of it. So outside of coding, like obviously I do a lot of coding full time and then I do my coding on my channel and it's a lot, right? And I want to try to focus a little bit more on my health. I want to focus more on exercising. I used to be really, really good. I'll scroll down to the very, very first videos on my channel. I have me playing some piano. Well, I used to be pretty good at piano. I'm not gonna lie. I used to be really good. I used to play piano a ton. This is 11 years ago. And I just kind of stopped playing piano after, you know, I had kids and I ran out of time. Secondly, I used to be really good at rock climbing. I used to rock climb for years. Like, I think I rock climbed for like seven or eight years. And uh, I hurt my lower back, so I haven't been able to rock climb like I used to. But I mean, you can see here, here's a video of me hanging with 125 pounds, I think with two fingers on a hangboard. Okay, so for those of you who don't rock climb, this is pretty hard to do, right? I'm hanging with two fingers on each hand with 125 pounds hanging off of my, my harness. And I also have me doing six one-arm pull-ups each hand, okay? That's pretty hard to do. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying that at some point in my life, I used to be really strong. I used to be really healthy, athletic, and I've kind of let that slip. So that's kind of one of the things I want to focus on this year is I want to get back into maybe running. I want to try to do like a half marathon again. I want to be able to do one arm pull-ups again. I want to actually feel like I'm able to walk up the stairs and not run out of breath. But yeah, hang out with my family more, play with my kids more, play more Roblox with them, more Minecraft with them, teach them stuff, ride their bikes with them and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually pretty happy and satisfied where I am at this channel. At some point in life, you just feel like you just have to keep doing more and more and more. But I'm just at the point now where it's like, I'm satisfied with what I have. I think I've done really well growing a channel. I'm happy with that and I want to focus on some other things at this point. Now the very last thing I really want to focus on is I want to this year hopefully launch a successful SaaS product, right? So I want to build some type of product where other developers use it to build out their web applications. I haven't really thought of what idea I want to do yet, but I do know that I want some type of subscription-based SaaS service and I want to just spend a lot of time just building that throughout this year and really try to polish it and see if other people would use it. I feel like I have the marketing ability now that I have a channel that has some subscribers. I have a huge user base of just web developers. So I think I could build something kind of like upload thing that Theo's doing, but maybe not do like files. Maybe I'll do like web sockets or maybe I'll do something else. Um, I just think that building a product and marketing on my channel will be a really cool thing to do. And then lastly, I want to try to make more tutorials. For example, I have a course on Gumroad where I teach how to do the T3 stack, but maybe just spend a little bit more time doing courses and less time just doing random sponsor videos with random companies. I've done a lot of sponsor videos on my channel. A lot of the products I'm just not really hyped about. Like I do the video just because it helps bring in some extra money, but there's only a small set of services and products that I've used uh, as sponsor videos on my channels that I'm actually hyped about using. And I really want to get away from doing as many sponsor videos. I didn't really do that many. I think I did like 12 or 13 or 14 on this uh, this channel this last year. But if I could just stick to one or two sponsors and just like continuously use them every month, 
I think I'd be a lot more happy with that and I could focus on my own things a little bit more. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to uh, make a video about this. You know, it's a new year. I think setting goals is important. I think all of you guys who are watching, if you're trying to learn how to get into web development, make some goals for yourself. Make a goal to build a certain application with X amount of features. Maybe it has authentication. Maybe it has some type of database. It has file storage. It sends out email, stuff like that. I think setting goals is really good. And uh, just write those goals down somewhere so that you see them every day. And you can just realign and remind yourself that this is what I'm going to focus on in the year 2024. That's about it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this video. Like always, I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join if you want to talk to me directly or just get help with web development. Other than that, leave a comment about what your goals are for 2024. I'd be curious in knowing what you guys plan to do. Um, yeah, have a good day. Happy coding.